Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to HTML email limited video series. In today's video, I'm starting with the uh, development of this HTML email that I showed earlier. Uh, I will create it uh, in uh, XHTML format. Okay, so this year uh, I actually almost complete few basic things that I need to uh, start uh, development. Okay, so let's uh, introduce with you about this. Um, these are very straightforward. Uh, first, I just put this doc type. Uh, you just need to make sure that uh, this HTML file is in XHTML format. So make sure you put this XHTML doc type uh, in first line of your email template. Okay, so because uh, HTML may have some restriction and uh, regulation that I uh, explained earlier, so it's better if we uh, developed our email template in XHTML format uh, rather than this other HTML versions. Okay, and also in your HTML tags, you need to make sure this XML uh, XML uh, few line of code because of this uh, because we are using bml right uh, we are using this bml uh, i mean this piece of code for bml uh, i mean bml uh, supporting uh, because there are a few scaling issues on outlook right so that's why we are need to make sure that uh, this xml for bml x html and for also for office okay so we need to make sure that this uh, three line you, you you will add in your html file in your HTML text, so yes. Okay, so then uh, this uh, we, we start with our head tag. Um, this is very uh, straightforward thing. You need to add uh, the meta tags that are necessary. So I just add two meta, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, this first one is very simply for content, and the second one for responsiveness purpose. Uh, you just can add these two meta tags, that's enough and also then you need to add this title tag uh, whatever the name of your html email you just need to put over there uh, yeah okay so let's start with styles and yeah guys so uh, firstly i need to uh, remind you that uh, we don't write any external css over there we just focus on in, in internal css and inline css okay because uh, there are only one uh, I mean, only one piece of file for HTML email, just this. And uh, in this HTML, we will cover the, everything. We will cover the CSS and uh, I mean, linking and everything. We don't uh, link with any other files, okay? So firstly, I just uh, need to make sure that this kind of uh, CSS is there for uh, double start uh, development for this HTML email okay so first thing uh, this piece of code because of uh, there are some uh, scaling issue on uh, webkit and windows uh, there are uh, i mean they just uh, increase text size sometimes so we need to make sure that uh, uh, i mean they will uh, keep the default size okay so that's why you need to add this line ms text size at just 100 percent and webkit text size at just 100 percent and then there are a few things for resetting your styles first for image and just uh, make border zero uh, height auto line height 100 percent outline nine and text text, uh, text decoration now okay so this uh, piece of good for image it's very important sometimes uh, in few cases you can see that in your image there are some border appears so you don't know why it happened so just for resetting purpose uh, you need to add this piece of code for your images and uh, so that everything works fine okay then for table uh, you need to make sure that border collapse uh, is collapse okay so i think you all know about border collapse there are some spacing appears on let me show you about this border collapse what is actually okay so it will be better if i show you an image okay see uh, yeah this is a um, real example see there are uh, separate i mean this is a default thing that uh two table uh, i mean make some space between this uh, if you create uh, if, if you i mean explain that a border collapse is collapse then uh, there will no space between your uh two tables okay 
so this thing you need to add and then in your for your body this is pretty much uh, for any kind of html uh, in, in css we, we actually add this kind of thing so in your email template you, you also need to make sure that you are adding these things up to margin zero padding zero white and height 100 percent and also don't forget to add important i already explained that important is uh, using important is uh, very much i mean necessary in email template so you need to use to eat it so don't forget to add important while it's necessary okay then for table and td you also i mean further for further clarification you again just add border collapse colors and also make sure and so table L space mean left space and R space mean right space zero pt zero pt okay so this is it uh, just this piece of code uh, body table image and uh, yeah this table and td you need to add other than uh, there are few things I will add when actually it's necessary when I double while I start developing this email template okay so for now it's enough uh, then yeah one more thing for uh yeah sometimes uh, a download icon will uh, appear on gmail so if you want to avoid this make sure you add this one image plus div display none there will automatically generate a div tag and will add this icon besides your image okay so make sure that you add this piece of code it will i mean uh, remove this download icon uh, okay then for ios blue links uh, that actually i explained uh, in a particular video that what is ios blue link and how we can avoid so this piece of code i just copy and paste over there to avoiding ios blue links in ios devices there are some uh, in link text uh, they will generate a color links and underline over there so to avoid this you just need to add this piece of code just color inherit text distribution none font size inherit font family inherit font weight inherit line height inherit so whatever you i mean uh, put in your style it will get inherently so it won't uh, take this a uh, blue line in your links right okay this is it and then we starting the write the media query we i just add the media query i will uh, write uh, css whenever I uh, it will necessary to develop this email template so first uh i just um trying to make it very simple i just add two media query over there i will create this image template within 600 pixels so my main size is 600 and uh, for the responsive issue for the responsive part i just make sure that uh, below this uh, dimension everything will be in mobile version so five nine hundred five hundred ninety nine pixel max will uh, get the all mobile version styles Okay. I just add grepper and I just add mobile center. Uh, I will add further when I will uh, creating our email templates. So for now, I am just uh, to show you um, how actually we will write media query in email templates. So that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so after completing your style, you also need to add this piece of code for a scaling issue that I explained in another video that there are some MS scaling issue will appear. So to avoid this, just need to add this XML code over there. And for adding this piece of XML code, we already mentioned that uh, in our HTML tag that uh, we uh, this kind of xml will require and we will add in our file so there are no issue you can add easily in your xml file and this uh, ms of stuff hello everyone uh, if you think this video has some value to you consider subscribing and share it with your friends uh, thank you thanks for watching see you in the next video bye